पाकिस्तान की बर्बरता का शिकार बने सेना के जवान परमजीत सिंह को आज देश ने आखिरी विदाई दी पंजाब के तरन तारण जिले के पैतृक गाँव में शहीद परमजीत सिंह का अंतिम संस्कार परमजीत के परिवार और गाँव के लोग यूपी के देवरिया में बी एस एफ के शहीद जवान प्रेम सागर के गाँव में भी पाकिस्तान के खिलाफ गुस्सा शहीद प्रेम सागर की बेटी ने पाकिस्तान ऐसी बदले की मांग की पापा हमारे शहीद हुए हैं तो हम एक सीट के बदले भारत ने जवानों के शव के साथ बर्बरता पर पाकिस्तान को सख्त चेतावनी दी है भारत के डीजीएमओ ए के भट्ट ने पाकिस्तान के डीजीएमओ के साथ हॉटलाइन पर बात करके पाकिस्तान की हरकत को अमानवीय बताया भारत ने एलओसी पर पाकिस्तान सेना की बॉर्डर एक्शन टीम की तैनाती पर भी एतराज जताया हालांकि पाकिस्तान ने एक बार फिर बेशर में दिखाते हुए भारत ऐसी बर्बरता का सबूत मांगा इस बीच सेना प्रमुख जनरल के बिंदावत ने नॉर्थ कश्मीर में एन ओ सी के इलाकों का दौर हमको क्या करना चाहिए जो हम यहाँ बताना नहीं चाहते हैं और बताने से ज़्यादा अपने काबू में क्या ऐसे टाइम बात चूँ सकते हैं ऐसे प्लेस बात चूँ सकते जवानों के साथ पाकिस्तान की बर्बरता पर पूरा देश गुस्से में देश के अलग अलग शहरों में लोगों ने पाकिस्तान के खिलाफ कार्रवाई की मांग की यूपी के मुरादाबाद में स्कूली बच्चे पीएम नरेंद्र मोदी को लिखी एक किलोमीटर लंबी चिट्ठी के साथ सड़क पर उतरे देश के परमवीर चक्र विजेताओं ने पाकिस्तान की हरकत आरोप गुस्सा जताया हमने जो पाकिस्तान की जो वहाँ पे सैनिक को जब मारा था वहाँ पे जो पोस्ट हमने कैप्चर किए थे जो उनकी डेडबड़ी वहाँ पड़ी थी पाकिस्तान गवर्नमेंट ने और आर्मी ने लेने ऐसी मना कर दिया था तो उनकी जो डेडबड़ी थी हमारे सीओ साहब ने कहा कि इनकी डेड बॉडी को हम यहीं पे ही एक सैनिक सम्मान के साथ वहां पे दफनाएंगे पिछले चार महीनों के दौरान एलओसी से सटे पाकिस्तान के कब्जे वाले कश्मीर में 20 आतंकी कैंप बनाए गए पिछले साल के आखिर तक एलओसी के पास पैंतीस कैंप लेकिन अब ये बढ़कर कब्जन हो गए हालांकि सर्जिकल स्ट्राइक के द्वारा भारतीय सेना ने इनमें से कई कैंप को बना कर दिया लेकिन धीरे धीरे फिर ऐसी खड़ा कर दिया गया in January and the first since the recent US air strikes in Syria that strike in response to a suspected chemical attack by Syrian leader Bashar al-Assad <laughs>
covered. But the bill isn't as definitive. Vice President Mike Pence was on Capitol Hill last night and held a number of meetings trying to secure the votes for the health care bill. Germany's gas needs. Germany invests 16 billion US dollars into the Russian economy, and German businesses have privileges in Russia. into the chemical attack in Han Chaehun, for which the Syrian government has denied responsibility. Angela Merkel raised the issue of Chechnya and the reports of atrocities. <laughs> Decker, Al Jazeera, search. All right, uh, we're starting this bulletin with some breaking news coming in from the national capital. That after the event of the death of the standing official and his deputy Manisha Sophia had met senior army party leader Kumar Vishwas, who are in the day of the other Kejriwal and hometown of the media conference. Kejriwal has promised to resolve the issues raised by Kumar Vishwas. Let's see. Well, Ankita, finally Arvind Kejriwal, the party chief, had to step in to resolve this crisis at this moment. The split within the party was widening right after the discharge of Dr. Javi Bai, Amanatullah Khan, and the exclusive interview that Kumar Shah gave us in India to be aware of the question of parties functioning, transparency, corruption charges, and everything. So there was a split between between the Aam Aadmi Party, there was a factor which was growing within the party. Uh, however, the party tried to uh, resolve this crisis. They sent first Manish Sodia Sanjay Singh yesterday to resolve this uh, in fight to end up this deadlock. Th uh, th this evening, after Kumar Vishwas escalated attack against party, he says that Amanatullah Khan is not the face, perhaps he is the mask. Someone within, uh, someone powerful within the party perhaps is, uh, is playing uh, 
on the name of Amantullah Khan. Now, Mani Sisodia also came out uh, responding to Kumar Vishwas' allegation that he should speak, he should take up all this issue within the party forum and not uh, in the media and in public. Now, after the deadlock, there was a bigger question that who's going to end up this deadlock. There was finally a big हमारे आंदोलन के अभिन्न अंग हैं और उनकी कुछ नाराजगियां हैं मुझे पूरी उम्मीद है वो हमें ला लेंगे questions well Archana this seems a deja vu what happened in the part of the tree right after the Amadi party that was unprecedented majority in the national capital with 67 out of 70 assembly seats it was uh, Ardi, uh, yeah, Yogi Dariyata and Shant Kushan they were knocked out it also seen Shazia as we knocked out and there were a number of other leaders who were knocked out by Amadi party in the past so this is this was completely a deja vu moment for the Amadni party. But Kumar Vishwas is not just a leader, but he is one of the very popular leaders. He is a poet and he was a Rajya Sabha aspirant, Rajya Sabha election that will be held uh, in January next year. So he was one of the very powerful leaders within the party, very close to Arvind Kejriwal, very close to Manish Sisodia. When the, this split was widening, there was a bigger question, the why, what actually has triggered this split within the party. And this was perhaps the first time such differences within Amadni party and uh, in fact in, to in top leadership that is believed to be Sanjay Singh, Amadni, uh, Arvind Kejriwal, Manish Sisodia and Kumar Vishwa. So we have seen how in past the were leaders who were knocked out. This was believed to be the party may take action against Kumar Vishwa. But after Amadni Pillar Khan episode that happened, Kumar Vishwa questioning party is functioning, questioning party leadership. This was believed that there is going to be another split, another round of split within the Amadni party. But
sit down with North Korean leader Kim Jong Un.